morning dear students of class 12 welcome to the english online learning class today we are going to further discuss on the poetic devices of the poem by mother at 66 by kamala das if we look at the new and difficult words we see that these words have been used in the poem doze a short light sleep ashen very pale like ash corpse a dead body sprinting here running moving spilling in this poem to move out in great numbers van unnaturally pale as from physical or emotional distress then ache pain now if you look at the rhyme scheme of this poem the poem does not use any identifiable rhyme scheme so the poem is in blank verse free verse now if you look at the rhetorical or poetic devices used in the poem simile which is a rhetorical poetic device where an overt comparison is made between two things which is very obvious like use of as and like now here in this poem the poet uses the device of simile on two instances when she compares her mother's face with that of a corpse and also uses the word like while making that comparison then she again compares her mother with the moon in the winter time and also uses the word as by making this comparison there is personification also used in this poem and this rhetorical device is used to bestow human qualities on something that is not human so if you look at this poem in this poem the poetic device that the poet uses of personification is with respect to trees trees printing she imagines trees to be figures that are running alongside her car then there is a apostrophe this rhetorical device is used when a poet addresses his or her poem to an absent audience now here in this poem the poet uses the device apostrophe when she speaks directly to her mother addressing her as amma even though we never see the mother replying to the poet then there is metaphor the rhetorical device is used when a word or phrase is applied to an object or action to which it is not literally applicable in this poem the poet uses the device of metaphor in line when she speaks three sprinting the merry children spilling out of their homes to show the contrary image of her mother's age and approaching and so we can call here a contrast has also been used in the poem uh, uh, the uh, situation inside the car and outside the car then uh, we see that there is repetition used this historic rhetorical device is used when a word or phrase is repeated in this poem the poet uses the device of repetition in the last line all i did was smile and smile and smile when she had to subdue her feeling hide her feeling of sorrow regret and she tried not to show this emotion to her mother she says she believes that she will meet her mother again so uh with a word of assurance she gives to her amma and an expression of my 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 that is not indicative of the poet's happiness actually the poet is making an effort to a uh, show to hide her sorrow her pain before her mother so now uh, we have discussed some of the literary poetic device used in this poem my mother at 66 i would advise you to go through the poem and uh, pick up 
any other literary device if you come across. Now, if you see that there is a, a scene of visual imagery also used in the words Merry Children and Trees. So thank you. Have a nice day. Take care.